Now, some of the world's uh, biggest oil producers are meeting today to decide uh, what they're going to do about rising prices. Now, the cost per barrel of crude oil is close to its highest level in seven years as demand is really outstripping supply. Well, our business editor, Stephen Carroll, is uh, here. He's going to tell us more about it. Stephen, just tell us then who's meeting today, what exactly they're going to be discussing. This is the group known as OPEC+. Plus. So it's the 13 members of the Organisation of Petroleum Exporting Countries, plus 10 of their allies, including Russia. Together, they produce around 40% of the world's oil and they've been coordinating their decisions about supply and how much they're going to pump into the market. Of course, that has a huge impact on oil prices. Um, OPEC Plus members had cut back supplies during the pandemic, but they've been gradually increasing them since July of last year. If we look at what's been happening on Brent crude over the past year, which is the international benchmark uh, oil price, we can see, generally speaking, prices have been rising. Um, we did see a dip in early December over fears that the Omicron variant uh, may have an impact on demand, but as soon as those fears receded, we saw prices jump again. Today on the markets, Brent crude is trading over $89 a barrel, just close to that $90 level that it reached yesterday, which is the highest since 2014. Uh, WTI over $88 a barrel as well. Since OPEC's last meeting in December, those prices are up by more than 10%. So there's lots of pressure on the group this time around to do something about it. What's driving them so high then, Stephen? It's a combination of supply and demand issues. So as I said, oil prices, oil producers cut back during the pandemic because prices had slumped because there was less demand for oil at the start of the pandemic. Um, the pace of the global economic recovery, though, has been quicker than they have increased supplies subsequently. So supplies haven't kept up with the demand from the global economy. An OPEC Plus, agree OPEC Plus agreement reached last year provides for 400,000 barrels per day increase in supply every month. Add to that, you've got logistical problems of literally getting the oil around the world. It's similar to the supply chain problems being experienced by many other industries as well. And then there's geopolitical tensions to add to that that have caused fears about you know supply shortages in different parts of the world as well. All of that translating into higher costs for consumers. Uh, for example, if you take the price of petrol at the pump here in France, reaching a record high several times in the past couple of weeks, that's putting a lot of pressure on politicians. Uh, US President Joe Biden really wanting OPEC to plus to increase their supply to help bring down down um, the price of gas there as well. He's been releasing oil from the strategic reserves in the United States to try and ease that supply crunch too. Um, this is part of the issue of why this meeting is being so closely watched. So there are any chances of any uh, big news, if you like, from today's meeting? The prospects don't look great at the moment. Uh, sources from five different members of the OPEC Plus group speaking to the Reuters news agency said they don't expect any extra increases to be announced at this meeting today, above and beyond that planned 400,000 barrels a day. OPEC's own forecast says it expects demand for oil to return to pre-pandemic levels in the second half of this year. Over the course of the year, the group's expecting that to average out at just over 100 million barrels a day uh, of demand. That would be up 4 million from last year. OPEC still expecting supply to be in surplus over demand in 2022 uh, when you look at the year as a whole. The other issue that's factoring into all of this is that OPEC's actually had problems meeting that 400,000 barrel a day target because of production problems in various countries. In Libya, for example, a major oil field was shut down by militias um, at the start or uh, just in recent months. There were issues too in Nigeria with shipments from one of its terminals. So even if there was a political will among those ministers meeting today to increase supplies further, they might actually have practical difficulties in being able to get there. Yeah, a lot of people, of course, following that, uh, worried about uh, the amount of money they've got in their pockets. Stephen, thanks very much. Stephen Carroll from our business desk, our business editor.